This dresser that is disassembled behind me is completely infested with powder post beetles. Let me go ahead and give you some close-ups of the beetle infestation so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There used to be frass covering this dresser all over it. That's how the customer knew that they had these powder post beetles inside the dresser. But they called me to take a closer look, see all of these little exit holes, all those holes right there, there, there. These holes are 1 16th of an inch thick. See all of that sawdust looking material right down here? That is frass from the powder post beetles. So that's what's going on. Let me put you back up here. As you can see, they're very, very small, but they can be a big, big problem. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to treat powder post beetles step by step. I'm going to be using a product called Bore Care by Nysis. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Then I'm going to tell you about this specific wood, about this furniture, where it came from, and why this wood in particular was infested by powder post beetles, and what you can do to make sure your home isn't infested with powder post beetles. Let's go ahead and get started with the treatment. As I'm getting started here, super funny story. As you all know, I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> and I've had this YouTube channel for like almost three years. Out of all the like thousands of comments, millions of views, I have only gotten, I think, 10 or less customers like from, from my YouTube or from my TikTok or Instagram uh, Dan the Bugman accounts. And today's video is one of them. So this is really cool. I came out here, they had this really unique pest control problem. I haven't made any videos about powder post beetles, so I know they weren't watching one about that, but yeah, uh, it was really cool. It doesn't happen often, and I'm thankful when it does. While I'm talking about my YouTube channel, thank you to all my viewers who watch. I really appreciate all the support and views I get on my channel, and I appreciate this customer giving me a call and trusting me to take care of their house. What's going on here is we, I have water in here. We're going to mix the bore care with water. All right, so I just mixed in the bore care here. Bore care is a very specific, very unique product. We're going to talk more about bore care later, but right now I wanted to just talk a little bit about powder post beetles. While I'm mixing up the bore care here, this stuff is super thick. So anyways, powder post beetles, right? Powder post beetles are extremely, extremely small. So basically what's going on with the powder post beetles is <laughs> the beetle larva, so not even the adult stage, the larva stage. They're super, super tiny worms, right? And they just live in the wood. What they're doing is they're slowly meandering consuming the cellulose and expelling frass as they're, you know, poop or droppings as they are eating and consuming the wood. The frass, little sawdust-like particles are falling out onto the, onto the dresser, and that's what the customer saw. That's why they called me here, because they saw this sawdust. Um, they've had this dresser for about six months, and at first they saw the sawdust and, like, they thought it was just rubbing against the dresser, you know. They went on vacation for a few weeks and came back, and there was more sawdust. So at that point, they were just like, okay, well, something's going on here. So they did some research online, gave me a call, and I came out and confirmed. They thought it was termites at first. Uh, we took a closer look, and immediately I knew it was powder post beetles. I think, personally, they are lictid powder post beetles. There are three main species, the lictid, the anobiidae, and the bostrichids. <laughs> it's very, very hard to tell which species of powder post beetle they are. They all behave similarly. They, you know, they have unique differences, but without actually seeing a live adult, it's almost impossible to tell which one it is, but they can all be treated the same. The crazy part about the powder post beetles is that <laughs> the larva stage, these beetles are super tiny, right? The larva stage depending on what species, can live one to five years. The adults only live for a few weeks. They come out to, to breed and reproduce, and then they, they just like put their eggs on the wood, the larva burrow into the wood again. So the powder post beetles spend their whole life, uh, almost completely the, their whole life inside wood as the larva stage, which is pretty crazy. They're very, very unique family of beetles. I'm gonna spray everything once, just give it a quick layer. I wanted to explain to you why this furniture in particular has powder post beetles. This furniture is unique in a couple of ways. This furniture is imported from another country and other countries simply just don't have the standard wood control as the United States. So since this wood was imported, okay, that mist, see right here? That's what we're looking for. It's just a mist treatment over the wood. So anyways, this wood was imported. Whatever company treated made this furniture, this wood was not treated. It's completely just like raw wood. It was simply just cut off from the tree, 
stored in some lumber yard, and then shaved down to make this furniture. The problem with that is that is how powder post beetles infest wood. You know, just think about like normally in the wild, you know, they just eat untreated wood and that's, that's what they do. The wood has to be treated and the company that made this furniture did not use wood that was treated. The powder post beetles found this wood and infested it. Oh, this is a great example. I didn't see all this sawdust earlier. Check out all of the sawdust in this drawer right here. So much frass. Frass is the technical term for it. This wood was likely, almost certainly, infested when the wood was super, super early in the, the harvest. So, you know, just think about like the first stages of the lumber yard or even in like okay anyways and it was infested because other wood in like the lumber yard or wherever it got infested had powder post beetles uh once the adults hatch they mate quickly and just lay their eggs on the nearest wood that is is suitable as long as the house isn't built with wood that is initially infested with powder post beetles then the powder post beetles are not going to reinfest other wood in the house they're not going to reinfest other wood in the house because two reasons one other wood in the house is almost certainly treated, like 90% of wood is treated properly. It's only the wood that's not like treated when it's being harvested that is the problem. And secondly is because the powder post beetles need certain levels of nutrition in the wood. Uh, materials like cellulose and other fibers in the wood, that's what they consume, that's what they use as energy. And as wood gets older, every year it gets older and older and older, the nutrient levels in the wood, the starches that the powder post beetles feed on, they slowly, slowly, slowly decline. And if the, the wood is not at a certain level of nutrition, then the larva, they can feed, they can initially get going into the wood, but they're not going to be able to properly, you know, develop. And they're going to die off in a matter of time. The sad part is, sometimes the pest control industry, we do some dirty things, unfortunately. And I have come in contact with pest control companies I've gotten calls from like customers that have gotten quoted powder post beetle treatments um, from pest control companies for thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, to treat their whole crawl space with like a product like Boracare. I get there and the matter of fact is like the powder post beetle infestation, it's not active, there's no active frass, and there's simply no chance that these powder post beetles, even when the larvae hatch out into adults and even if they breed, they're not going to be able to reinfest the wood because it's getting so old. So that's not just a blanket statement. Like sometimes powder post beetle treatments are necessary. You know, I'm doing one right here, right now, today. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about Boric Hair. It's made by Nysis. Speaking of Nysis, Nysis is Dan the Bugman's new sponsor. So I cannot thank Nysis enough for sponsoring me and I'm super, super excited uh, for this partnership moving forward because as I do with all my sponsors like I never recommend something that I don't already use or wouldn't wouldn't use myself and <laughs> Nysis is something that my family's company and I have been using for many many years. Boracare as it may sound is a borate compound based product so borate think boric acid right this compound it's been around for years and Nysis has somehow made this borate compound into boric hair and made it the industry standard in treating wood for wood destroying organisms like termites, powder post beetles. So I mentioned I was going to talk to you about how to prevent powder post beetles and that may sound easy right? Just don't buy wood with powder post beetles in them or don't use wood in your house that has powder post beetles in them. That's actually that's actually the case. That's pretty much all you have to do to prevent powder post beetles, but of course you're not gonna know. No sane person is going to be looking for these microscopic holes in furniture they're buying, but just be aware that powder post beetles exist, and that's a step that most people will never take. I really, really wish I could show you what these powder post beetles look like, because they are interesting looking. The larva is really cool looking, but they're just so, so small and all the larva is inside the wood. Uh, you know, that's one of the things I pride myself on, like Dan the Bugman is like showing you in real life these infestations, but unfortunately, it's just like a matter of fact cases, like insects like these powder post beetles, they're very cryptic in nature. Like you can't really see them. You can only see the evidence of them, or if you get lucky, you can see the adults when they emerge. But uh, I do sincerely, sincerely apologize. I can't show you the actual 
powder post beetles or their larva. But I can show you the evidence, I can show you the frass, I can show you the exit holes, but unfortunately, you can't really see them uh, in today's circumstance. But that doesn't mean it's not interesting. <laughs> you can use your imagination and just realize that these beetles are inside this wood. So basically here, I'm just wiping up any excess bore cure treatment that may be running off. I'm using these little towels to make sure all the cracks and crevices are really getting treated well. You know, the corners of the drawers inside sometimes might not have gotten that mist in them. So I'm just rubbing the bore care around like that. I followed up with the customer since recording this video a few weeks ago and good news, they haven't seen any new frass since my treatment. So I'm going to consider this a great success. In conclusion, everyone, thank you as always so, so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did today in the comments or if you have any experience with powder post beetles and I will see you again very, very soon.